Well, here's a pass deep downfield. It's intercepted at the 50 yard line. And looked like it was going to be a gainer for the Rams, but it was intercepted by Derwin Gray, and he made a good athletic move to do that. And Derwin Gray is one of the finest athletes. He's just a thoroughbred on this BYU team. He was running no problem in coverage. He had the receiver in his hip pocket just waiting to make that play. That's as good as you can cover that route. Watch him. He's in position. He knows he can make the interception. He comes underneath. Look at this. He's out in front of the receiver. That's where you've got to be as a defensive back. And we're going to see some good things from that young man because he is one of the finest athletes on this team. Jay, and I think Sean Bradley had about 10 slam dunks in the 15 minutes I was there. Here's the kick. It'll come down to the five yard line. Easter takes it to the 10 to the 15. He's to the 20, has some room, gets into the middle of the field, and then is knocked off his feet at the 37 yard line. That's exactly the reason Derwin Gray is back there. He plays the safety man. He stays back just in case the front line of defense on that kick coverage doesn't do the job. Just explosive speed this time in an excellent lane. Now watch, here comes Derwin Gray. He's the safety man, he's playing back. That's his job, he does a nice job. That's exactly what he's there for. First down play, quick pass to Morgan. Morgan spun to the turf at the 47 yard line by Dixon, or Derwin Gray. Morgan adding to his whack leading reception statistics. He's having a good game. Just a hitch route. All he does is just, well, actually, just turns to a quick out, working one-on-one uh, -on -one out there on Derwin Gray. Gray does a nice job. Back in motion to the right. One setback. He's straight back to throw. Pressure this time. Throws into the middle. Intercepted. He had to throw it in a hurry, intended for Henderson, but it was intercepted by BYU's Derwin Gray, his second interception of the year. Nice interception. The ball looked like it was overthrown to both players. And, Je and Jeremy Leach this time, it, this is almost a mental thing. He thinks he's going to have pressure. He really doesn't. They really pick up quite well that time. He needed to step up into the pocket. He panicked when he didn't need to, tried to go to Henderson and threw it too tall. And Derwin Gray playing the free safety position in the middle field. He's the center fielder. Back there to make the catch. He leaped off the ground. That was a great leap to get to that football. That's, uh, let's see, on Leach, I think it's his 11th. 11th interception of the year. So BYU with the ball again. The right on the slot to the right. And here's Leach's throw. Intercepted. Intercepted by Gray at the 50 yard line. Over to the 45. To the 40. He's got a blocker there. Nope. He's well, now he is finally knocked down. So Gray has his second interception, and he took that away from the receiver. I think that's Gray's third. Let's see. Ron Shipley made the uh, tackle to bring him down. And what what a great uh debut as a starter for Derwin Gray. He comes down. Henderson's running a fade route and, and BYU is running a two deep zone so Gray was on the hash as one of the safeties and he just steps over. Leach makes a bad read and Gray's in a position to make that interception and he's got some great wheels. That young man can run. For Derwin Gray that ties a stadium record. Three interceptions in one game. That's also a BYU record so in his debut he makes his mark. He played a lot, of course, this year as they in the uh, nickel and dime defenses, but today he started. We talked to coaches Tom Homo and Dick Felt. They say that Derwin Gray is one of the finest athletes they have on the team. It was just a matter of time as he learned the system before he would be able to contribute fully like he is today. Here's an interception. Derwin Gray for BYU. Still on his feet down the sideline. They're going to mark him out of bounds. He will be marked out back at the 32-yard line. Derwin Gray, his team-leading fifth interception of the year. He brought it back 30 yards. What Wyoming did is put three receivers to the left. Here's a play-action fake fact by Tom Francis. He's got the tight end over the middle just a little bit too high to Gordy Wood, and it's picked off by Derwin Gray. Again, all of a sudden, they had great field position. Now their defense is back on the field, facing a BYU offense. It looks like they've got everything going the right direction. Out of the spread, they send Sider in motion to the right side. Carter rolling to the right side. He's being chased. Has to throw it in a hurry, and it's knocked high in the air and is incomplete. Boy, that ball is tipped in the air. Gray didn't know where it was. It came down right in back of him. Good coverage by BYU. There are three defensive backs there, and they were going for the ball. I think Paul Pitts comes back and hits the ball before it gets to the receiver. But when they saw who he was throwing to, they had him covered. 
Pressure up front by Gomes made him throw it a little bit quicker than he wanted to and Beagle also Lucky there. Beagle's in his face. There's some good contact there. Pitts and Arnold and Gray are all going for the football. And that was a big defensive play. Jared Levitt there also. The field goal attempt will come from the 36. It's a third down and eight for the Rainbows on the BYU 13 yard line. Here's Carter back to throw again. The rush is on. He throws into the middle of the field. It's intercepted. Intercepted by Dewey Gray. And he's down at the nine yard line. Kerwin Gray is playing safety there. He just sits right in the middle. Uh, Carter gets a little pressure, throws it up for grabs, and Derwin's there to pick it off. His second interception of the year and the second Cougar interception of the game. Derwin's very emotional. He's had a couple of big plays, save for touchdowns. And then, of course, this is where they're in scoring range, either a touchdown or a field goal. Shad Hansen's in his face. Derwin's sitting right there. He said, hey, I'll be a receiver, and I'm going to head up field. He had Josh Arnold right in back of him, too, looking for that ball. But the Rainbows looking for another score. Here's Jasper rolling out, setting up, being chased by Levitt, and runs it, now throws it way downfield, and it's knocked away at the last minute. Dewey Gray made a great play for BYU right at the goal line. He rolls out to his right, nothing's happening. He decides to come back to the left, see if he can make a big play on his own. There's coming in right there from the right, that's Brad Hunter, gets blocked from behind. Gets the ball up, and Derwin is still pursuing. Knocks the ball away. Jasper back to pass. Being chased. Now throws it down the middle of the field, and it is intercepted. Intercepted by Dewey Gray. So Dewey has his second interception of the game and his third of the season. Derwin really enjoys the game of football. He's, he's an exciting player. He's emotional. And he loves to th see things happen. He's excited about this win uh, that he's getting today. It's not very often that a team will beat a BYU two years in a row. And so this was a big game for BYU to come up victorious. Quarterback's well, just throwing it up for grabs here. Derwin does a great job of going up for the ball and coming up with it. And of course, look at the excitement. BYU's secondary had a tough game last year. They're having fun here on Halloween night in Fort Collins. I blow the fullback, loses the football, and it has been picked up by BYU, and that is Derwin Gray, and he will go untouched for a touchdown. State offense and a stunned crowd. Well, they got a drive that is beginning to move. It's going to be officially a 60 yard return by Derwin Gray. Watch number 45, Rocky Beagle tries to come back on the play. Number 45, Romero drops the ball. Derwin Gray, number five, picks it up behind the line of scrimmage, takes it in for the touchdown. So it was Romero rather than Iblo, number 45, who Turned the football UCLA at the 31 yard line. That's Williams again off to the left side and knocked off his feet at the 37 yard line. Started up the middle, then he had to slide it wide to the right. He ran for a hole. Derwin Gray came over and tackled him. Well, it's a good thing Gray makes the hit as Williams shows you that effective running style. Here they go. They just uh, zoned it off. Williams picks his spot. Now, this is the second week in a row now that uh, people around here have seen a very good running back come here. Marshall Falk, Kevin Williams. First and 10, UCLA on the BYU 39. Walker gives to Davis, his tailback, fumbles the football. And BYU will get it. Gray hit him, and he fumbled it. Watch Gray. Now here's the guy who led the whack and picks last year. He had nine tackles against Utah. He makes the tackle, and I believe he gets a fumble too. Look at him get up and scramble. That's about like the effort you saw a moment ago from Goodwin. That's just outstanding. He hit him pretty hard. Looked like he got a hand in there to knock the ball free, and then, as you say, he went over Davis to get to recover the fumble. Second down play, running play to Carter. Oh, there goes the football fly. The Cougars are after it, and they've got it. Let's see if it's ruled a fumble or if he was already down. 
The officials haven't ruled it yet. I think they will say he was already down. Boy, the crowd will disagree with that. I'm going to tell you who's the whack defensive player of the week is number five, Darren Gray. Watch his hit here, Jay. You talk about smelling a play out. Now watch five. Boom. Right there. That's how you get a cartilage. I don't know how. I'll tell you what. The that's ground a fumble. did not cause that. That was a fumble. This is a fumble. Fortunately for the officials, there's no replay. <laughs> Here's the snap. Walker back to throw. Waiting. Throws. And it's complete at midfield. And down at the BYU 45 yard line, a big gainer to J.J. Stokes. Derwin Gray made the tackle, but the Bruins, facing third and long yardage, get a big first down. They do a terrific job with their comeback patterns. This is the dig. It's a real deep dig. And Stokes comes right back to the football. That's how you don't have to let him come back. The underneath coverage was there too, but uh, that's well executed. That's best ball he's thrown. That looks like we're going to get a timeout. A 26 yard play, and timeout is called with five minutes left to play in the first half of the game. The Bruins call time. They UCLA on the BYU 45 yard line. Walker's back to throw on this down, does throw for the sidelines, completes it to the Cougar 38 yard line. The ball is dropped, but I think he was out of bounds. Chad Hansen for BYU covering on the play, along with Derwin Gray. Walker has hit seven different receivers. He's really spreading it around here. Well, and he's starting to get some confidence. In the beginning, I thought uh, all he did is come out and try and run the football to, to let him. Walker ready. Walker's going to pass on third into the middle of. Intercepted by Derwin Gray. Back down to the 40 to the 35 yard line. Dewey Gray. Mentioned a little earlier that you need a pick if you're going to get back in the ballgame. Gray, who led the whack and picks last year, steps in front, anticipation. A lot of people thought he'd play against UCLA, but for USC, instead he winds up in Provo one more time. And BYU gets the football back. Collins back to throw. Has some time into the middle of the field, incomplete because of a hit from Dewey Gray. He intended that one for uh, McDuffie. And he got it to him, but Gray hit him as the ball got there. Good defense by BYU. Five in the pattern this time, Jay. And Gray, who weighs about 190 pounds, uses every bit of it here. Ball is thrown pretty good. Penn State doing a nice job picking up the stunt, the twist in there. Look at the hit by Gray. I mean, the ball is thrown a little bit behind Anderson, but Gray is the reason it's not completed. Before yard line as the crowd pumps up the noise level, split backs. Here's Collins back to throw under pressure does throw incomplete. Good defensive play by Derwin Gray for BYU to knock the ball away from Mike Archie. He timed that pretty effectively. Everybody was locked on one on one man for man coverage. Stops the clock with 121 left. Kerry Collins has gone all the way. They'll run a draw this time. There's some room. He's to the 10 yard line but Dewey Gray met him head on. Boy that's a good open field tackle. Sure Jay. That's a good back. Not a first down run. 